Hi, this is Steve Grissetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Movie Studio Platinum and DVD Architect. And here we are in Movie Studio Platinum 15 looking at some of the new features. And here is the interface for Movie Studio 15. A couple of things are very obvious. If you look over here in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see that there is now a quick start window. This is an optional window. It's probably something you'll use if you're new to the program. For instance, if you want to know how do I add audio and video, you click on that and a window will open giving you options here for adding media to your project. How do I add text and graphics? It opens up the media generators where you can choose from a number of text and graphic templates, transitions, video effects, and then finally the option to make movie. I don't keep this open very often because I'm a veteran of the program. If you're new to the program, it'll help you find various windows, but for the most part, I turn it off. That gives me a lot more horizontal space here with the program, and I can spread some of the other windows out. One other obvious thing worth noting is here, if you go to the Project Media panel, in previous versions of Vegas Movie Studio, the Add Media button gave you only options to browse your hard drive for media already on your hard drive. And if you wanted to add media from your camcorder, if you wanted to add it or rip it from a disc, you had to go to various menus throughout the program. Now, if you click on the down arrow button here in the Project Media window, all of the options will open up for adding media to your project, including the option to add media from your hard drive or to import media from your camcorder or other recording device, to rip it from a DVD, to capture video from your take base camcorder, or to even extract audio from a CD. These options are all available here under Add Media in the upper left-hand corner of Project Media. It's a nice, easy one-stop shop for those. If you look around the program, you'll see that Magix has done a great job of cleaning up some of the clutter. In other words, getting rid of all that extraneous, these extraneous buttons throughout the program. They've replaced many of them with what they call hamburger menus. Hamburger menus are these three horizontal lines you'll see throughout the program. For instance, to the left of each of the track headers. If I click on one of the hamburger menus, you see I have access to a number of options, including track motion, compositing modes, and options for controlling what buttons are visible on my track header. Likewise over here on the preview window I have basically playback pause and stop but if I click on the hamburger menu you see I have other options here for things like looping the playback so that it repeats playing from the beginning of the movie and even recording narration into the movie I also have the options here under any of the hamburger menus to edit the visible button set and when I click on that I can choose what buttons are available on the window and which ones remain hidden under the hamburger menu Hamburger menus are also visible right there on the events on your timeline. One other thing worth noting, when you start a new project here in Vegas Movie Studio 15, you get by default a picture-in-picture -picture track on your timeline as one of your video tracks. I'll explain to you how that works and what you can do about it in another one of the tutorials as we look at some of the other new features available here in the program. Finally, Magix has added some very nice features here for controlling the look of the interface itself. If you go to the Options menu, and select Preferences, and then go to Display. You see under the Display tab, you have the option to either have the dark interface, which is black with white lettering on it, or the light gray interface, the old interface that Vegas Movie Studio used to have a long, long time ago. So options for that. Also, you'll see there's a checkbox here for selecting whether the timeline displays along the bottom of the interface as it does by default, or if you uncheck that, the timeline will actually move to the top of the interface and all of your tools are underneath it, the old style Vegas and Vegas Movie Studio look. So some very nice options for controlling how the program works as well as how it looks. Now, of course, if you want to know more about this excellent program and all the tools in it, all the new features as well as the old features, be sure to check out all the tips and tutorials we have here at MoviePix.com, as well as our MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio 15, available at Amazon.com and, of course, at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.